donate or shop at the new location for the Habitat Restore in Madison County. The proceeds from the Habitat Restore go towards helping build a home for someone in need. Shop, donate, or volunteer at the new location for the Habitat Restore in the old CVS Pharmacy Building on Main Street in Richmond. You may have caught an earlier story that WBON TV did at the Madison County Health Department regarding the HANDS program. HANDS is a free program that provides support, education, and resources to families that are expecting a baby or that have a new baby of their own. WBON TV got to meet one such family and saw exactly how the program works and learned how they got involved. My sister-in-law, she was uh, she was involved with the HANDS program in 2019 with her two boys. Awesome. And so when I got pregnant, she suggested that I reach out to my local health department. Yay. So we'd love to have those different referrals and different people suggesting us. So that's awesome. So what are some benefits that you can share with the families, other people that may be thinking about hands that would make them want to come and see what we're all about? Yeah. So the hands program really keeps me and Iggy on track. Um, we have a goal every three months or so we make a goal and that goal really helps us focus on the development for Iggy, uh, what I need to be doing to support him and also, uh, how I can relate to him, uh, as an e-parent. That's one of the daily dudes is, uh, e-parenting is really how, he's feeling in that moment. So if he's ready for play, I know we can get down on the floor, but if he's not ready for play, that means he's not really ready to tackle that goal. We also learned exactly what kind of skills are taught in the HANDS program and got to see baby, mom, and those that work with HANDS firsthand to see exactly how the program works. Some of these activities look like um, exactly like this. Um, so they're just daily household items that you never really thought of that could be toys, but they can be turned into toys. So something like this, the lots of lids, you just have an empty container of say cookies and you turn it into this fun toy for your child. So you use object permanence. So he knows that there's something in here because it makes a noise and you engage in a two-way talk with your child and you say, hmm, what's in there? And so you show them what's in there and you just have like lids of baby food you can put in there and he sees it, it goes in there. So that gets him curious. So that's some of the things that we do with hands, especially in the meetings, we really talk about those benefits and how we can turn household items into toys that are really great for the child's development. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. For Channel 9 News, I'm Marissa Hempel.